The story of Perseus and Medusa is widely known and evokes strong emotions. One common question that arises is why Athena would help Medusa by transforming her into a gorgon and then help Perseus kill her. Many people asking this question tend to view Medusa as the central character and perceive her treatment as unjust. They often overlook the motives and actions of other characters in the story. To provide context, Perseus was sent by King Polydectes to retrieve Medusa's head as a gift. The king hoped that Perseus would be killed in the process, eliminating any obstacle to him marrying Perseus' mother. Trusting the king and wanting to avoid conflict, Perseus accepted the task. In some versions, Medusa is already born as a gorgon, and there is no connection between her and Athena. Therefore, Athena's involvement in transforming Medusa does not create a conflict of interest when it comes to helping Perseus. In the oldest depictions, Medusa was born a gorgon, and the transformation never occurs. It's essential to recognize that Medusa is not the central figure in this story, it primarily revolves around Perseus. Retrieving Medusa's head is just a small part of Perseus' overall journey. Athena, being the patron goddess of heroes, aids Perseus by providing him with various weapons and guidance. Athena's assistance to Perseus can be understood in different ways. First and foremost, Perseus is not just any hero, he is Athena's half-brother. Given their familial connection, Athena, being a loyal goddess, would never turn away her own brother when he seeks help. Family always takes priority. It's likely that Athena would prioritize Perseus over Medusa because of their shared bloodline. Just because Athena helped Medusa once doesn't mean she owes her eternal protection. Another possibility is that Athena made a mistake in transforming Medusa. The consequences of Medusa's transformation were likely not desirable. Instead of granting her the power to protect herself, it isolated her from the world and made her a hunted trophy. Athena may have regretted her decision and viewed helping Perseus as a way to release Medusa from a miserable existence while still aiding her brother. It's also possible that Athena, known for her pragmatism, weighed the alternatives and concluded that Medusa's head would serve a greater purpose than her continued existence. This decision might have been based on the belief that Medusa's head would be more beneficial in the hands of Perseus than if she were alive. Ultimately, the exact reasons why Athena would help Perseus kill Medusa remain uncertain and open to interpretation. These are some theories that attempt to explain her actions. Realistically, we cannot know for certain, but considering different perspectives enriches our understanding of the story. If you have your own theories, feel free to share them. On another note, the speaker mentions a book project based on Greek mythology, which includes a retelling of Medusa's story. The book is scheduled for release on January 15th and is available for pre-order on Amazon and major book retailers. In conclusion, delving into the motivations of characters in Greek mythology and considering various interpretations enhances our understanding of the stories. It is important to view the narratives in their entirety and not solely focus on one character.